Hey guys, it's Emma the Creative Gem back with another video, and today I'm doing a review on this $5 makeup brush washing machine. This hidden gem is at five below. It's been featured on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I want to try and see if it works. How do you guys think I rated it? Do you think it was a deal or a dud? To find out, keep watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and if you like other content, make sure you follow me on these other social medias. So here it is, guys. This is the makeup brush washer machine. I purchased this item doing my $100 Five Below shopping spree slash haul. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you check it out. The link is in the bio. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and share that video as well. All right guys, so let's officially jump into the video. Now here, I am unboxing the wash machine. This is what the product looks like. This is where the batteries go. This is where the brush is inserted on the top, along with the detergent and water. And there's also a little hose on the side to drain the water. This washing machine is battery operated, so I need to unscrew the bottom and insert the batteries. A Phillips screwdriver is required for this part and two AA batteries. All right, so once the batteries are in, the wash machine is pretty much ready to use. So the next step is to add a third a cup of water and also a cleanser or soap. I'm using a facial cleanser. You can use any cleanser you want. It can be antibacterial or even a Pacific brush cleanser, but I'm just using a facial cleanser that I had on hand. The washing machine is now ready to use. All I have to do is tap this little white button to turn it on. The device doesn't work in increments, so when you turn on that white button, it will continuously spin. And to turn it off, you simply hit the button again. There's a small spinning mechanism on the bottom, similar to a real washing machine, that spins the water and creates suds. The mechanism on the bottom is powered by a motor. However, this motor is not that strong. So when I put my brush in, it will hit the spinner and basically the brush will spin with it. So I have to make sure when I insert my brush to only put it lightly in or halfway into the wash machine. The directions recommended that the brush stay inside for 10 seconds. However, eh, that wasn't enough time. I recommend 30 seconds or more. I think it also depends how much product you have on your brush. So this is my blush brush and I use it often, but it's not saturated product like a foundation brush or my eyeshadow brush would. So this brush didn't take that long to clean. But I took it out when I figured the time was right or, you know, when my ancestors told me that's enough time. Once the washing cycle was completed, it was time to do the spin cycle. However, with this device, it was simply taking the washing machine to the sink and pulling out that little hose at the end to drain the water out. Oh, and a quick tip, when you're using the wash machine, make sure you have the hose attached to like a little hook on the top. This ensures the water doesn't spill out when the machine is on. For my second brush, I did the same steps as before. I filled the wash machine up with a third a cup of water and also a little bit of my cleanser. I turned the washer on and this time I'm using a more saturated brush. This is my eyeshadow brush that has a lot more product on it and I'm gonna see how it works with this brush. Like I said before, this brush is more saturated with products, so the water is starting to change to a darker color, which means it's definitely cleansing the brush more. But it also could be because I added more cleanser to it as well, but 
It looks like the washing machine is definitely doing its job here. Another good tip is about brush placement into the washing machine. So I'm placing my brush to the side or not near the motor. This definitely rotates the water more and cleanses the brush better because your brush most likely will get in the way of the spinner. However, this also depends on the size of your brush. This is definitely great for small brushes, but I'm gonna show you in a little bit why it's better for small brushes and not so much bigger brushes. That little holder back there is also for Five Below. It's super handy because after I cleanse my brushes, I can stand them up and they can air dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a bigger brush. This is my powder brush. And let's see how well it's gonna cleanse it. Oh dear, so here I encountered an issue with water overflowing. So I think it was because the hose wasn't attached to the top, which I recommended to do, but I forgot to do here. I think it was that it wasn't attached to the top. So when I inserted the brush, it created like pressure and it pushed the water up the hose. I also think it's because maybe I put too much water and because I just went to the sink and filled it up instead of measuring out. So I might've put too much water in there, but honestly, I also think it's because the brush is a lot bigger and it just created some water pressure and that's how everything overflowed. So yeah, I don't think this is good for big brushes. It definitely works better if it's a smaller or a medium brush. My brushes are all cleaned and now it's time for the verdict. Was this a deal or a dud? So let's talk about the pros and the cons. So the pros are this. The device is $5, it is portable, and it's great for cleansing small brushes that don't have a lot of residue on it. The cons, however, are it's not good for medium size or big brushes, it can overflow, and you do have to leave it in longer than 10 seconds. I think this washing machine is great if you are traveling or you're just starting out in the makeup world and your brushes aren't filled with product. However, if you if you use your makeup a lot, like if you use it daily, I wouldn't recommend this device. I would only recommend using it once in a while if it's an emergency, but I would definitely just cleanse my brushes like I've been doing, which is using a pad, soap, water, and just letting them soak. Let's also keep in mind it was only $5. So you can't have too much of high expectations of something that's $5. However, I do rate this three out of five stars. So this is definitely a deal. All right guys, so that concludes my makeup brush wash machine review. If you enjoy seeing content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on the bottom to be notified when I put out similar content. Until then, stay safe, stay home, and wash your hands. All right? Bye.